guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Amanda and today I want to share the pros, cons, and my review of the Marcus by Goldman Sachs High Yield Savings Account. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Amanda M. Lim, and follow me for more personal finance tips there. I decided to share my thoughts about this Marcus account because I have used it for three years now, so I want to share my honest opinion. So as I said, I will be sharing the pros and cons in my review, so I'll leave those timestamps down in the description box below, so if you want to fast forward to my review, feel free to do so. So first, let's start off with the pros. The first pro is that there's no minimum balance required to open the account, so you can open it and leave it empty for up to 60 days before they have the ability to close it. And this is great because they also don't charge fees, and if you need to withdraw, all that money or the whole account balance you can do so as long as you either put in more funds later within 60 days or allow them to close it for you. I have found that transferring money to and from the Marcus account from my checkings account has been really easy so that's a good plus. Another one of the pros is that they have one of the higher interest rates or APY annual percentage yields. As of yesterday, unfortunately, they did lower it from 1.55% to 1.30%, but they are typically one of the higher interest rates out of all high yield savings account that I've noticed in the past few years. So um, honestly, I wouldn't say to choose a high yield savings account based on interest rate because it's always fluctuating, but I would say Marcus does try to stay competitive with other accounts. Like there are no fees associated with emptying your account, there are just no fees in general on the market side, so there are no fees to transfer money in or withdraw or anything like that, which is a plus. And also, I believe recently, like late last year or sometime last year, they also came out with a mobile app, which is really great. They didn't have that a few years ago, so um, it's really easy to check your balance and do initiate transfers as well. Also, as of last week, Marcus will complete transfers the next day if it's done by 12 noon Eastern time. That means if you transfer money into your Marcus account on that same day, they will start giving you interest on those funds even though they might not appear in your account balance yet, which is really great. Obviously, when withdrawing money from the Marcus account into a different bank or institution, only they kind of have control over when your funds are available in their specific bank, but at least Marcus completes the transfer on their side in the same day if you do it by 12 Eastern time. Now onto cons. I would say the only con that I have seen in the past few years and that I've seen online in reviews are that there is no checking account or ATM associated with this Marcus savings account. And honestly, that didn't really bother me because I already have a checkings account that is linked to everything. So I didn't really need it. But if that is important to you, I would definitely recommend that you look into other accounts. Now onto my review. I honestly haven't had any issues with Marcus for the past few years since I've opened my account. I haven't had to complain. I haven't had to contact customer service about anything. Transfers are very easy and simple and the user interface is really simple as well and easy to use. So overall, like I've been getting a good interest rate on my money so far. It's again, I said it does stay competitive with other high yield savings accounts. So I don't have to worry about it. And I have really enjoyed storing my money in that savings account for my emergency fund or short term um, goals or expenses. So. I highly would recommend it. Um, if you're interested, I'll leave you the link to the Marcus website down below. I don't get referrals, so it's just, you know, I want to share this with you and I have had a good experience with this. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more personal finance tips and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.